Hey guys, Moran Pobert here and today I'm going to answer the question if you should buy a distressed business or not. So let's get to it. And yeah, remember, if you didn't subscribe yet, subscribe, comment below. This channel is all about how to buy businesses and grow businesses, even if you don't have much capital or experience and how to ideally find someone else to run those businesses for us. You can run those businesses yourself if you want. Um, I personally just don't like to manage um, I guess the day-to-day -day in a business and I think that people can do it much better than me I just rather go out there and look for more deals um, So yeah, this is what this channel is all about. Let me know what you think get in touch If you want to learn more about this space of buying businesses see the description below and yeah, let, let me know So when looking to buy businesses, there are basically two ways to do it right one of them or two different type of businesses to go for one of them is just a profitable good business that's making money every year and if you want to buy those businesses you potentially need to pay more and maybe look for more businesses before you find the right one with the right terms and the right deal and obviously have the right financing for that so that's i guess one type of business you can buy the other type of business is buying a distressed business so business that's many times uh, maybe just a little profitable or maybe like in the break-even uh, phase or maybe even losing some money um, you can even look for businesses that are literally almost uh, about to shut down so you can have those two different approaches the question is should you go for just profitable good businesses or you should go maybe for distressed businesses and buy there for better prices better terms and try to turn them around uh, what's the best way to go for in a nutshell to answer that you in my opinion if it's your first deal you want to go for a good profitable company so you'll have enough income coming in and then maybe buy distressed company as a bolt-on as a second acquisition so you can have a good profitable business in your sector and then go maybe buy a distressed business in that same sector and then you can literally just take whatever assets you want from that business and use them as an advantage to grow your first main core business the problem with distressed businesses is that literally many times you need some kind of like literally a magic to turn them around obviously depends on when you're getting into those deals i'm talking deals that are literally like businesses that are about to shut down and if you're not going to make changes in the next few weeks you need to fire everyone and just liquidate the business so for those businesses it's really really hard to turn them around yes you can do things especially if you have more time if you have a few months or a year to turn things around and you can still survive you still have enough cash flow to survive then you're good and that bring me to to a second thought which is with distressed businesses many times you need a lot of capital you need to inject your own capital many times or obviously investors money but an equity investment that to, to literally just save the business most of those businesses if they're distressed they already took whatever loans they could on their on their business so you gotta inject capital from outside to save them so unless you really have experience doing those things and turn around companies and yes you, you can do many many things to turn around companies and i think it's actually a really cool thing to do um, i've done it with few of the things the deals that i've done but unless you have a very um, specific experience in that sector it's really really hard especially if you want to get to a sector that you don't know anything about to go into those businesses and turn them around and get to a point where you're profitable and making good money with profitable businesses I mean you can basically take income from day one it might take you more time to buy those businesses because you need to raise capital and to find uh, I guess the right deals in the right terms with distressed companies like I have many times people come to me with distressed companies who are willing to give me the business literally for one dollar down um, one dollar just for the transaction value you gotta have one dollar in, in the value of the contract but I have people come to me and tell me hey here's the business try to save it and many times it's just not worth it yes you can get into those businesses for literally free um, but like I said you can you you'll need to put so much time just to work on it and turn it around that that time can be invested into buying a legit profitable business that again have good fundamentals and will bring you income from day one of owning it and I guess the question then is how do I make sure that a business I'm buying is profitable or even more importantly how do I make sure that a business I'm buying is going to stay profitable after I'm buying it yes you can look at numbers in last year numbers or three years ago uh, accounts but it's not it's not a guarantee that the business is going to make money after you buy it it really depends on the owner as well um, there's a chances that the business is really dependent on the owner and if the owner is living there's literally no business so how can you look into businesses and make sure that they're going to make you good money after you buy them as well 
So what kind of things you can look into a business to make sure that after you buy it, it's going to still stay profitable and make good money for you. So if you remember the process and you look at some of my other videos, you know that you need to go out there, talk to business owners, sign NDAs, get financials. And when you start to get financials and just basic information about the business other than financials, that's the time to start to look into the deal and to start understanding if the business is going to be profitable after you buy it. So to begin with, the first thing I would look at into a business you want to buy is the amount of reoccurring revenues the business got or recurring clients. So the more, let's say, uh, the more recurring revenue that you can see, the better the chances are for obviously to make the same amount of money next year. Because if there are, especially if there are contracts, like some deals out there, you can literally see contracts for the next 12 months with a specific client. The more you have those, the more you have people who need to come back to you because of a recurring service, the better the business, uh, the better business you're getting yourself into. I think another really uh, key thing to look at is just the reputation of the business, because if there's a good reputation for the business, there's a big, big chance that customers will come back to that business just because of the reputation. And those things you can literally search on your own online. Just look for the business, look for customers reviews, figure out who is the, who is that business you're looking to buy. And the better the reputation, the better chances are that the reputation will continue as you buy the business.